People who wear super mega merch are 65% more likely to have sex than those who don't. Oh, really? Really, Matthew Hobbs Watson? You would say so. You are so confident in your product that you would, on your public Twitter that has over 400,000 followers, say something such as that, then it better be true. Because if not, then that would constitute a little thing we call false advertising and fraud. Have you heard of those? Because you're gonna in a minute, if my experiment doesn't prove this right. Because I am putting this to the test, and I am deadly serious here. If I find that these numbers do not correspond with these claims, these outrageous claims, by the way, then I have no choice than to file a lawsuit against Matt Watson and Ryan McGee and all of Super Mega as a whole, Super Mega Productions, LLC. So you're asking, how would I even test something like this? Well, being honest, I just chose a uh, random dating app. Uh, Tinder happened to be the one that I chose, and I set up two identical profiles on there, one with the merch and one without the merch, the control. Now because Super Mega Merch has a tendency to get lost in the mail on a fucking consistent basis, I had to edit in my own simulacrum to use instead. And also I wouldn't want to buy a product if the claims that Mad Watson said weren't true. I'd like to say that the edit turned out, uh, Okay, you'd be surprised with what you can get away with because people aren't observant. Each of these profiles are going to be left up for a day, and after the 24 hours we are going to compare the results, and if I do not see a 65% increase in the numbers, then I just have to sue you. That's just how it works. Since the defendant did not specify any parameters, we're going to be counting males, females, and anyone else. I also added whites preferred in the bio to see if anyone even reads Tinder bios, and uh, you'll soon find out that they do not. They tried to flesh out a very realistic and well thought out character here. Level 18, Switch, NB, Pan, world ranked Fortnite player, looking for someone to game, cuddle, and vibe with. Hmm, gamer lives matter, gloom, willing to travel or host, everyone is welcome, whites preferred though, DMs open. <laughs> My anthem is Green Hill Act 1 from Sonic the Hedgehog. Ew. So let's kick it off. Almost immediately, I started getting matches with the Super Mega profile. So we started the account 30 seconds ago, and we already got one like from somebody. So, and this is with the, the Super Mega merch, so... So far, I'd say it's a buy. Well, we'll have to find out. Hey, man, how's it going? Gaming. Here's Marcus. Clearly, someone didn't read the bio. I'm putting batteries in the fridge so they'll recharge. Oh, okay, do you want to exchange contact? Sure, and then I put the number of a psychic. Feel free to send pics too. Mm. Thank you, mine is this. Hope you okay with me like feet. Don't worry about it, buddy. Is that a crime? Did I commit a crime there? Am I confessing to one? Well, if these numbers don't line up, then I won't be the only one that's committed a crime, Matthew. Whereas my dad has to play Facebook videos to the loudest possible decibel he can. Poggers! I am putting my piano in the fridge to make it sound better. What? Why? It helps the strings tighten. Same thing happens with guitars. I kind of wanted this guy to go off on the tangent, just give him a bit of nonsense to play with, but he was just not really into it, I guess. Oh shit, I was thinking it wasn't electric, haha. <laughs> no, it isn't electric. Boogie woogie woogie. Where are you from? New Zealand? Ooh, that's amazing. New York. Sorry for the confusion. Haha, <laughs> it's cool. New Hampshire. Saz. New phone. And for some reason, he just stopped replying. What does a handsome man like you want with me? Knowledge? Wisdom? Respect? Oh, I am here for you. I don't know what I'd do without you. That goes for all of us, lol. And then completely unprompted, he just sent me his phone number, so I signed him up to a multi-level marketing scheme. Hey, cute pictures. 
Did you like my shirt? Oh, yes. Very nice. See? Maybe the merch does work. I'm, I'm not biased here. Yo, man, where you from and what you looking for on here? I'm from Arkansas, and I'm looking for some fellow clan members. Can't help you with that, but if you're looking for something more fun, let me know. <laughs> See, it seems we're not having a lot of lady luck so far, but the Super Mega merch has allowed me to connect with someone that's apparently just a pool. And apparently the merch is really working because for some reason Anthony's still trying to make a clan member work with him. Hey, cool profile and pick. Love the kitty. I have a few new kittens and a briard. That cat is dead. I didn't actually say that. Who's Joe? Me? Oh. I'm Forensic Anthro. I live in a country home built in Q830 and restored to its original, well, close, it's wired. Okay. Honestly, I don't know what I'm meant to do with that. Nah, I'm not doing Fred. I'm just not even touching that guy. So Jeremy here, completely unprompted, sent me uh, this image. So that's good. The super mega merch can get you that. And then sent a phone number with, text me if you want more. So I, I signed him up to like six different multi-level marketing schemes because uh, I'm not very creative. If you voted for Trump, swipe left. What if I didn't vote for Trump, but just supported him? You'd get a smack in the balls, free on the house. I mean, as long as it's free in the house, I guess. You know how expensive those tend to come by. H can't fix it. Then I'll guess I'll be leaving. So we're switching over to Control now, and uh, we did not get very many messages for some reason. Hi. Well, you're pushy. Hey there, how's your weekend going? It's going fuzzy. Now, I was kind of hoping this guy would entertain the, the weird adjective, but he just, he just stopped replying. Weird. Hey, look at that, sharks wanna hook up. What's up, cutie? Dogecoin prices. Now, as I said, oddly enough, on the control, only like four people ended up messaging me compared to the 15 or so that I got on the Super Mega merch one. I made it a point to not message the accounts that match with me first because I didn't want to tamper with the results or scare them away or anything. I, I, I wanted to let them come to me. And as a grand total on the control account, I got 44 likes and 18 matches, which is lower than the 63 likes and 32 matches I got with the merch, which appears to indicate 42% more likes and 77% more likely to get matched. And that averages to 59.5% more likely to receive interactions with the merch than without it. Yeah, and in turn, be more likely to now, Matthew, uh, I never studied much in school, you say, but 5% is still considered statistically significant. And 59.5% is, by definition, significantly lower than the 65% that you falsely advertised. This was a reckless claim that you have made to bolster your own merch sales, and I cannot stand for it. Now, before I phone Mr. Giuliani and get him on your ass, I'll give you this. It did increase my responses with old, disgusting, middle-aged men compared to the mixed bag I got on the control account. No joke, they were literally the only people that ended up matching with me on the merch account. So... If that's, uh, you know, anyone's thing, as they say, then go ahead and uh, buy, buy, buy at the Super Mega Mart before they get shut down for blatant false advertising that nobody seems to have cracked down on until now. Checkmate, Matt Watson. <laughs>